Good morning from St. Peter Arding on the west coast of northern Germany. Today we are following my favorite travel photographer Greg Snell on assignment. Let's go! So Greg has been hired by a group of travel consultants called Tourismus Zukunft. Um, his job here is to take photos and document a travel conference that takes place once a year. And I want to follow him showing you the behind the scenes of this job. So hope you enjoy this video and get a better idea of what a real campaign for a professional travel photographer looks like. Okay, Greg, can you tell us what the usual schedule or routine is for such a campaign? Yes, uh, working a professional photography assignment, a lot of the times, in, uh, in my case, I would talk to the client and have a briefing before the shoot uh, to figure out what it is that they're looking for and sort of their expectations going into it. Uh, then the second part is the shooting, the actual taking of the photographs, getting, uh, in this case, as many as we can because we have a short period of time to do so. It's part group photography and portraits and part event photography. So um, the idea is to shoot as much as we can and, and cover all the bases and the expectations of the client. And then the third thing is editing, and that's a huge process. The post-processing of the images is, uh, takes a lot of time, and we want to provide a nice selection of really good quality images for the client to choose. So it's briefing, and then the actual shooting, and then the editing. So now that you've seen the rough structure of such a campaign, you might think that it doesn't actually look all that fun and easy. And the truth is that, as especially as a beginning travel photographer, you might have to take up a few corporate jobs. And those might come with the responsibility to get the exact shots that your client needs. And that can be quite stressful sometimes. But at the end of the day, even getting up for sunrise like today, or shooting out in the cold, are the experiences that you need to get stronger and they're so valuable. Perfect. So of course on assignment with Greg there has to be a sufficient amount of coffee. However, shooting at this conference was actually really fun and very good for self-promotion as well because Greg and I were shooting and editing at the same time. So the photos that we were taking were actually displayed here during the event. And of course that is the perfect opportunity for networking and yeah, promoting yourself on assignment. Okay, so that was my behind the scenes of the work of a professional travel photographer. I hope I was able to answer some of your questions 
If you are serious about making this your living, about making a career as a travel photographer, then definitely also check out Greg's channel because he is talking much more in depth about how to get clients, how to approach these campaigns and yeah, make this a career. On this channel there will be much more lifestyle oriented videos in German and in English as well as travel destination videos. So if you love travel as much as I do, please feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video because that way I know that I should be making those videos in the future as well. Next up for us is um, the south of Germany, Austria and then Malta. So definitely stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye bye!